Hello, welcome back to the channel. Anyway, coming at you with a fishing report for Wednesday, June the 14th. And all I got to say is, whew, what a day. I fished my rear end off today, and I have absolutely zero fish to show for it. I got one bite on a frog. <clears throat> now, uh, before you get too discouraged, let me, let me tell you, I, I saw a lot of good out there. I'm just not putting it together. There's guys catching bags, you know. I, I tell people all the time that I guarantee you, somewhere on this lake, there's a 25-pound bag that can be caught because people come up here and prove it every single day. I'm just not the guy right now putting it together. And I, I covered a lot of water today. Of course, I started out in the Keys because that's just right here in my backyard and started out <clears throat> throwing a frog, throw, uh, doing a lot, of, a lot of flipping today. I went out in the harvester this this week and uh, the crawdads are really red. So I put on a, a red red creature bait beaver and you know, that's 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 what I was flipping and just uh, the water clarity here in the Keys is non-existent right now. But it was overcast today and I was just convinced that the conditions were set up perfectly for a top water bite and I was gonna be able to get that frog bite. So man, I, I honestly probably have a thousand cast for that frog today. I got one bite so I, I decided well I got it I got to catch a fish so I went from there and I went and ran around to Rattlesnake Island I went completely around it frog flipping throwing the glide bait absolutely nothing so went from there I <clears throat> went to Anderson Island the water clarity is a lot nicer up there I mean Anderson Island is there's beautiful grass the deep tules. I mean it looked fantastic my you know I had had high hopes when I was over there especially with the water clarity Went completely around Anderson Island, uh, absolutely nothing. And then, uh, unfortunately, uh, a, a wildfire started up here in Clear Lake. And then I just kind of got to watching the helicopters and airplanes for a little bit and decided, okay, well, it's a little later later in the evening. I'm just going to run back into the Keys and I'm going to make them eat that stupid frog. And uh, guess what? They looked at me and just giggled and laughed. I, in all honesty, at this point, I would have a better chance of going bear hunting in the oaks and actually killing a bear than I would have going frog fishing and catching a fish. I honestly think you could just pack yourself up, go to the grocery store, buy all your groceries, and whoever's in front of you in the line, ask them how to catch a fish on Clear Lake, and they could probably give you better information than I can right now. I am completely freaking baffled but <clears throat> i'm not going to keep trying quit trying i mean i know there's fish in here they're not all float dead they got to be somewhere i mean i was <laughs> uh you know seeing them all over the graph which really makes you feel like a super good fisherman you know you can see them there you can't catch them i, I i'll admit i did not throw the uh weightless sink on i did not throw the drop shot i'm just you know i'm trying to I'm just trying to catch them the way I want to, and that's that's not working. I'm trying to catch them the way I know some other guys caught them. I threw the spinner bait a lot and the chatter bait too. I forgot to mention that, but uh, I don't know. I wish I had some good information for you guys. I'm not going to give up. You know, I'll, I'll post uh, some little video clips behind this so you guys can just see some of the conditions and uh, that way you have have in your mind how you want to approach it when you come up here. You know, I fished the deeper docks at Windflower through the glide bait around those. That's that's one of my go-tos this time of year up there. Didn't even have a single follower. And I'm telling you, I, I, I really thought that I, I had a good chance over there. But uh, like I say, I'm not going to give up. And I don't think this, this bad report should deter anybody from wanting to come up here. I just, I, I did watch uh, Live Fast Moments uh, report today. Um, Zach, you guys are, I don't know, if you're not subscribed to his channel, I recommend you go and subscribe. He's a, he's on them. That kid can catch them. So, you know, if you want to see how, how to catch them, go, go watch his channel too. But uh, if you want just a good laugh, keep, keep checking in on mine and uh, <laughs> watch, watch me and my struggles. But <clears throat> I can promise you, I will not give up and I will eventually figure these fish out. Anyway, I do appreciate you guys watching my channel, all the positive feedback I'm getting from everyone. It's, uh, I'm, I'm really having a ton of fun with this. My, uh, my youngest son sent me a, a bunch of GoPros and that sort of stuff. And man, do I feel stupid trying to figure out how to use that thing. But uh, doing my homework, watching some YouTube channels, trying to figure that one out. So I'll be able to bring you guys some better footage down the road. But anyway, 
with that, uh, I'd appreciate you guys if you would go and subscribe. And as usual, thank you very much and peace out. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, you're just taking a sweet little cruise around the uh, around the Keys. I don't know if you guys saw yesterday seeing a bear in the neighborhood. That was that was a bit of a trip. I apologize for the foul language, but uh, got caught a little off guard. You don't expect to see a a bear in your backyard. Anyway, uh, I'm headed over to one of the YouTube subscribers that has uh, been probably one of the number one fans of the channel, and I have decided to give him the uh, package for the uh, 200 uh, subscriber giveaway because uh, the guy that we, I originally tried to award it to has not reached back out to the channel, and it's been... Uh, months so I think that's more than enough time to uh, pass it on to uh, to someone else so uh, anyway tell me what you guys think about that in the comments is, is that the wrong thing to do I mean if the guy that originally wanted reaches out I'll, I'll put a package together for him but anyway uh, it's uh, Mr. James White is going to be the recipient of the uh, of the giveaway package I don't know if y'all care about that sort of thing or not but hey content's content and we'll share what's happening with the channel but anyway well, you can see just how freaking beautiful everything. I did get a bite right there yesterday on a frog, and I screamed like a little girl and missed it because it was the only bite I had had bass fishing all day. Anyway, oh, what a beautiful day today here in the Keys. There's one of my buddies, Bass Hound. Uh, that's how the baits. You guys look him up. He's a really cool guy. I believe David McDonald. Really nice guy. Anyway, I am going to go try me some flipping and some frog and see if these freaking fish have woken up and started looking up. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Peace out. Hey guys, I finally got these fish figured out on Clear Lake. I want to show you my latest and greatest uh lure that i pretty much invented myself you know we've all heard of the uh the kai tech well i think i'm going to name this one the b tech bob's technology they're pre-packaged they're sold in uh packs of uh packs of i believe 12 10 or 12 and uh only about two dollars a pack so they're very affordable just put them on your favorite hook tie some magic string around it and throw it out there and wait for the only fish, the only fish on Clear Lake that I can get to freaking bite. Peace out. Uh, let me show you guys something here. There you have it. You got chatterbait, you got spinnerbait, you got whopper plopper, you got underspin, you got frog, you got punch and flip, you got glide bait, you got another frog. And what am I doing? You guessed it. I'm catfishing, baby. Come on, big kitty cat. Get on my hook. Oh, here we are. Just want to show you guys some current conditions. There's Dollar Island over here on the backside of Anderson. Anyway, we got eight foot of water out here on these toolies, man. Everything's looking good, but I sure can't get anything going right now. I've been throwing the glide baits, been throwing the spinner bait, been throwing the frog, been flipping. Uh, you just couldn't ask for better conditions. I've had overcast today. I've been fishing hard, folks. I just haven't got anything figured out, but I just want you guys that know what you're doing to be able to see these current conditions. So uh, when you come up here, well, this isn't good. First one of the year, up on the hill. Looks like it's a residence. I see the, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the helicopters in there. I, I don't see a water bag on it. Well, one thing about it, the, the firemen up here are amazing. They get way too much practice, so. I bet they'll be all over this and make it disappear in a heartbeat.
But you might guess the airplanes will be showing up any, any minute. Oh. The one thing we dread up here is the fire season. Hopefully that's not somebody's house. All right, I'll update you guys in a bit. Here come the airplanes. I always hate to see this head up here. Current conditions on Clear Lake, a little bit windy. Still horrible fishing for me. You know, sad thing is, it doesn't matter what day it is, there's always a 25 pound bag to be had on Clear Lake. And it is just so humbling when you think you're a decent fisherman and you come up here and just get your butt handed to you on a regular basis. And people that haven't been here in years come up here and stick a huge bag. It's uh, it's pretty humbling and uh, can get you a little bit down. But all you can do is keep making that next cast. So anyway, just wanted everybody to have themselves a good look at these current conditions. If you're coming up this weekend, everything is uh, just set up for beautiful fishing. There's excellent grass in the water. I mean, everything we've been waiting for is here. I just... Uh, Somebody needs to figure them out, that's all. And right now I'm struggling, I ain't gonna lie to you. But, what are you gonna do? I ain't gonna quit, keep on trying baby. Peace out. Here's a close up of what we've got starting in the oaks already. It's not stinking yet, but it's uh, sure coming on quick this year. A lot of it's getting blown back into my, uh, into my key for some reason, but. It's uh, not the greatest thing in the world, but you can still catch them in this crap. I've run buzz baits through that stuff in the past and whacked them. But, of course, you guys all know I'm not whacking them right now. You can see if you look down there at those poles, how much the water level has dropped. You can see that, that dirty area. That, that was the high point, and it looks like it's probably dropped uh, probably in inch or two this week but anyway there's just some more current conditions